Welcome to the eMotion LV1 video tutorials. The plug-in chainer rack is where all channel processing takes place. It hosts up to eight plugins per channel. Signal flow is from top to bottom. And any plugin can be moved up and down the rack to change its place in the chain. Click on the arrow to access the plugin menu, which is used to insert and manage plugins. This menu affects only the selected plugin slot. Use the plugin list to choose a plugin. Its thumbnail icon will appear in the selected rack slot. Certain plugins can use a sidechain. Select a sidechain source from the drop down menu at the top of the plugin pane of Supported Plugins. The Bypass menu item bypasses the plugin while keeping it in the processing chain. You can also bypass a plugin with the In button on the rack slot. Disable removes the plugin from the processing chain without deleting it. When a plugin is disabled, it does not introduce any latency and no audio flows through it. You can re enable the plugin without losing its settings. You can also disable and enable a plugin by clicking its rack slot while holding the Control key. Remove plugin deletes the plugin from the rack slot. All parameter settings and control assignments are lost. Copy copies the plugin and its parameters to the clipboard. You can then paste the plugin or just its settings between rack slots in this channel or in others. Paste, along with the name of the copied plugin, pastes the plugin and its parameters to an empty slot, or it replaces the plugin that's already in that slot. You can add a mono to stereo plugin to a mono rack. From that point on in the rack's signal flow, that is, below this plugin, the rack is stereo, and only stereo plugins can be inserted. You'll still be able to insert mono plugins above the mono to stereo plugin. The channel itself becomes stereo, as indicated by its channel meters. Any supported dynamics, EQ, or filter plugin can be assigned to the main section. This means that one plugin from each of these categories is mapped to the main control section and can be controlled from there. Controls in this section reflect the corresponding controls of the assigned plugins. The plugin is also mapped to the mixer window and to supported control surfaces. Unassigning a plugin does not affect its processing status. We'll learn more about assigning plugins in Lesson 3.5, Main Control Panel. You can paste a preset between plugins that are in the same processing family. For example, Q10 to Q6, or SuperTap 2 to SuperTap 6. This does not replace the plugin, only the parameters. If the copied plugin and the one you're pasting to are not of the same family, then the Paste Preset option is not available. Choose Paste, and the plugin and preset will be replaced by the copied one. Latency indicates the delay that's introduced by the plugin or external insert. Rack latency indicates the total latency of all plugins and inserts in the rack. Latency compensation on off removes the plugin from plugin bus latency compensation calculations. The plugin is still active and its latency remains, but this delay is not reported to the delay compensation engine. This prevents a plugin with a lot of latency from delaying the entire mix. External inserts are added just like plugins. Select External Inserts from the Plugin menu. Select Physical Send and Return IOs. 
use the drop-down menu to move between inserts. The latency knob enables you to tell the plug-in bus latency compensation engine the amount of delay to and from the external insert device. An external insert doesn't automatically declare its delay, so this must be done manually. You can move an external insert up and down the rack to change its position in the processing chain. Recall Safe Plugin prevents plugin parameter changes during scene recalls, even if this rack slot is within the scope of a scene change. There's an orange Safe indicator on a plugin that is Recall Safe. Click on a plugin's icon to open its plugin pane. This shows the complete user interface. Under certain circumstances, changing the layout of a plugin rack may cause a short mute. However, bypassing a plugin or changing its parameters can be done at any time. In this video, you learned how to add plugins and external inserts to a channel's plugin rack and how to manage their presets. In the next lesson, we'll learn about the main control section, where channel processing and sends are controlled. Thanks for watching this Emotion LV1 video tutorial. See you next time.